This video suggests a way to do the harder factorising when the number before the x squared is not equal to 1. Now this method you look at the number before the x squared and look for its factor pairs. The factor pair of 3 is 3 times 1. You then ignore for the moment the 7x and look for the factor pairs of 2, which is just 1 times 2. Now, to then factorise it, we use the following method. We put these two numbers here in a column, and then we put these two numbers next to it also in a column. And we try to pair the numbers off to make 7 in the following way. If I do 3 times 1 and 1 times 2, 3 plus 2 is 5, not 7. But if I do 3 times 2 and 1 times 1, 3 times 2 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So this pairing off gives us a 7 as required. So to make the brackets, to actually factorise it, we put our two brackets down. Now the first column tells us the x. So 3x for the first bracket and 1x for the second bracket. And this tells us that the 3 gets times by a 2. So the trick here is the 3x gets times by a 2. I must put the 2 in the other bracket. Because when you times brackets, you do 3x times by 2 like so. And the 1x gets times by a 1. So I must put the 1 also in the other bracket. So to show how this works, 3x times x is 3x squared. 1 times 2 is 2. 3x times 2 is 6x. 1 times x is x. 6x plus x is 7x. So we'll talk for this again for another example to show how it still works. So again it's 3x squared. The only factor pairs are 3 and 1. But for the 6 it's either 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. So we have two options to consider, one of which will work. So I put the 3 and the 1 down a column. And I'll try and do the 1 and the 6 first. 1 and 6. Can I somehow make 11x? Well, 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 6 is 6. 3 plus 6 is 9, not 11. 3 times 6 is 18. 1 times 1 is 1. 18 plus 1 is 19. So that doesn't work. So I can ignore that. But I can then try and do 2 and 3 instead. 3 times 2 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3, 6 plus 3 is 9, no. But 3 times 3 is 9, 1 times 2 is 2, 9 plus 2 is 11. So we've found again the correct configuration. So the trick here is to put it into brackets. So 3x and x, 3x and x. The 3x gets times by a 3, so I must put the 3 in the other bracket. The x gets times by 2, so I must put the 2 into the other bracket. And again, 3x squared, a 6, a 2x and a 9x gives the 11x. Now this method can be adapted to when the third term is negative, but we do the same technique with a subtle change at the end. So again, this one still is 3x squared, which is 3 times 1. Look at the 5, ignore the negative for the moment, that's 5 times 1. So 3 and 1, 5 and 1. And we'll somehow pair these off to make a 14, but one of them must be negative. Now watch this. If I do 3 times 5 and 1 times 1, I get a 15 and a 1, but 15 take away 1 is 14. 
So if I put a negative here, I get 15. To take away 1 is 14. And 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. So, the brackets, 3x and x. The 3 gets times by a 5, so I put the 5 in the other bracket. But the x gets times by a negative 1, so I put the negative 1 in the other bracket. And to show this works, you get a 3x squared, a minus 5, a 15x and a minus x gives a 14x. So when it's a negative for the third term, one of those numbers must be negative. So for the fourth one, we've now got a 2 here rather than a 3. So that's 2 times 1. So I've got a 3, which is 3 times 1. So I'll put the 2 and the 1 down here, and the 3 and the 1 down like so. I must get a 5x, but a negative 5. Now watch this. If I look at this and do 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 1 is 1, 1 take away 6 is negative 5. So if I make that a negative, I get 1 take away 6 is negative 5, and 1 times minus 3 is also minus 3. So if I produce the two brackets, the factorising, 2x and x, the 2 goes with negative 3, so the 2x goes with a negative 3, the x goes with a 1, the x goes with a 1, and again, 2x squared, a minus 3, with a 1x, take away a 6x, is a minus 5x, so that has now been factorised. I'll just finish by talking for one application of this. Suppose you asked to solve 2x squared minus 5x take away 3 equals 0. Because we have factorised this into brackets, this is the same as 2x plus 1. x minus 3 equals 0. Now if two things times to make 0, these factors must be 0. So either 2x plus 1 equals 0. This tells us that if I take away 1 from both sides, 2x equals minus 1. So x equals minus 1 divided by 2. That's the first answer. The second one is where x minus 3 equals 0. If I add 3 to both sides, x will equal 3. And they are the two solutions to that quadratic equation. Now this method will work for some people, not for everyone, and another video I'll produce later on will show a longer way, but another way to factorise expressions like this one.